Hi there and welcome to my first English tutorial for OpenHub. Today we are going to talk about dynamic icons, how we can use them in the basic UI, how we can make our own. And I would say let's go start it. Before we start, just to let you know, I did the same tutorial in German and I used the same clips and down in the corner you will see me, but I will talk German. So I did some voiceover and it won't be lip sync at all. Just to let you know, I hope it's not too confusing. So first of all, let's see how it works usually with uh, the icons from OpenHub. So here is a light switch and a light slider. And as you can see, the icon is uh, grayed out. And when I turn on the light and re reload the page, you see that the light goes on. And the same is for the slider. So if I go to 100%, you see the light icon also blows up. Um, the difference between the slider and the switch is you also can dim the light and you will see the light icon also dims too. Let's have a look into the config files. So here you see my sitemap and as you can see, it's just the switch and the slider. And on the other side, you will see the items. So I have two different items. I have a switch item and a number item. And as you can see, the light icon is uh, on the one hand side. On the left hand side, it's called uh, icon, like the tag for the sitemap. And on the right hand side, the icon is on the uh, the icon is on the item. So um, there are two different ways you can use the items um, as you want, and the behavior is still the same. So where do I get these icons from? Um, therefore, you can go to the Open Hub page, like I do now, and there you can see which icons in which version you can use. So for example, I used version two point two. And there are all the different icons you can use. Um, so you don't have to get uh, specific icons. These are built into the OpenHub, for example, 2.2. And if we go down, you will see here's the light. And if I hover my mouse over the icon, you can see there's a tooltip and it says light 0, light 10, light 20. And therefore, these are the different, uh, let's say, dynamic icon modes that are supported. Here for the temperature, you can see there are no different temperatures. Now let's go to GitHub. On GitHub you can um, directly go to the icons and there are all the icons we saw earlier stored um, as SVG and PNG. For this example we will use SVG and um, there you can see the different icons. So for battery for example there is battery 10, 20, 30 and what on. And the same also is for our lights we saw earlier. Now, for this example, we will go to the temperatures icon down below because there is only temperature, hot and cold. And we will use the usual temperature icon and then we will manipulate that so we can make our own dynamic temperature icon. So let's go to the icon and then we can store it with a right click on the icon and say download this picture. So here it's in German, I'm sorry for that, but uh, it should be the same in English, just another language. There we have it. And now I'm going to open it with Inkscape. So Inkscape uh, is a tool which can manipulate vector graphics and SVG is a vector graphic, so we will use that and you will see the benefits of that in just a second. So here it's open in, S in Inkscape, the icon. And now we have the icon. Now SVG um, is not pixel based, it's uh, a vector based um, graphics. So you can zoom in as much as you want. There will be no uh, pixel, pixels displayed because um, the round curves and whatnot, it's, um, every time it's, it's calculated. So we don't have any blur or something like that. So the nice thing here is we can manipulate uh, the single layers. So for example, here I can stretch the layer or compress it um, like I want. And we also can manipulate the colors. So down below there is a color bar and now we can choose different colors for these single layers. So for example, I can color my um, temperature like red or blue or green or whatever I want to. To only stretch the rectangle and not the circle, you go up. Uh, so you select the, um, the colored layer and then you go to objects and then you 
he select the group so it's not one group anymore it's just a rectangle and a circle so now we can stretch the rectangle as much as we want and color both of them and now for example we would have a high temperature icon so now we can store this high temperature icon for example um, like I do um, temperature and then do a dash and then 100 after that we also can do some other icons like uh, I do here a green one with uh, some mid temperature in this case I just using uh, 50 to store it on uh, with 50 and uh, you also can change the color um, on the right hand side with the icon I showed you and there you have the full spectrum of colors so you don't have to stack on the colors down in the, the bar below you can also use uh, all the colors you can imagine for these icons so as you can see I made a whole bunch of different icons and now I'm going to rename them um, temperature is also uh, already used by the standard icon so to avoid any conflicts I'm going to rename them to new temperature you can name them as you want uh, I did this for example it's not recommended uh, use a different name use something meaningful for you and um, then we just put them into our config folder and there's a items folder and classic folder and there you have also a readme file which says you have to put these icons you want to use your own icons into this folder and uh, this folder and uh, for example here it says default use is svg we already did svg files so we are good to go and we just can put them into this folder and that's all we have to do and then we will i will show you the results of your work now let's go back to our config files, so to the sitemap file and the items file and change our icon light to new temperature, that's the icon we made and it's the icon we put into the icons folder and go back to our basic UI and for my example I had to reload this and now we have our temperature. As you can see temperature doesn't react to on and off because we didn't make a dynamic icon for on and off temperature but it reacts to the temperature itself. So if I go to the slider and change it to 35, we see the icon becomes yellow. What happens with our icon with different temperatures? So here you see it's a 35 degree. Now I have a 25 degree icon and as you can see the 25 degree icon is used because it's 35 degree. So it goes down to the 25 degree icon. If I change the temperature up to 55 you will see now that the icon for the 50 degree temperature is displayed and with 100 the 100 degree temperature is displayed so there is a fall back to the next lower number and that's about it now you're able to do your own dynamic icons use them in the basic UI and also in the open hub iOS app that's completely automatic if it's displayed in the basic UI it also should be shown up in the um, iOS app for OpenHub. I hope this video was helpful for you if so please give me a thumbs up and I will show you now some screens from the iOS app I'm using. See you next time bye bye!